Life is a whirlwind. It throws curveballs. It presents challenges. Every day we face new obstacles, unexpected events and pressures that can feel overwhelming. Through it all, the world keeps spinning. Deadlines approach. Responsibilities pile up. The hustle and bustle of daily life never seem to slow down. It's easy to get swept away in the chaos, to feel like you're constantly running on a hamster wheel. The demands of work, family and personal commitments can make it seem like there's no time to breathe. But here's the truth, you matter. Your well-being matters. Taking a moment to look in the mirror and acknowledge your worth is crucial. Taking care of yourself is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Self-care activities like yoga, meditation or even a simple face mask can make a world of difference. Think about it. If you're running on empty, you can't show up fully. Just like a car can't run on an empty tank, you can't function at your best without recharging. You can't be the best parent, partner, friend or employee. When you're drained, your ability to connect and engage with others diminishes. You deserve to feel your best. Whether it's enjoying a spa day, hiking in nature or simply relaxing in a comfortable environment, these moments of joy and relaxation are vital. You deserve to thrive, not just survive. Achieving your goals, celebrating your successes and nurturing your growth are all part of living a fulfilling life. Remember, the world will keep spinning, the sun will rise and the city will continue its relentless pace. But you have the power to choose how you move within it. Choose yourself. Make decisions that prioritize your health, happiness and well-being. Embrace the power you have to shape your own path. We live in a world that glorifies busyness. We wear our hectic schedules like badges of honor. Social media feeds are filled with images of picture-perfect lives. It's easy to feel inadequate, to feel like you're not doing enough. This constant pressure takes a toll. Stress becomes chronic, anxiety lingers, burnout becomes a real threat. We sacrifice sleep for work deadlines. We skip meals to attend another meeting. We neglect our own needs to meet the demands of others. It's time to break free from this cycle. You are worthy of rest. You are worthy of prioritizing your well-being. Your mental and physical health depends on it. Self-care is not selfish. It's a vital practice that allows us to maintain our overall well-being. It's not just about bubble baths and face masks, although those can be nice too. These activities can be a part of self-care, but they are not the whole picture. Self-care is about making a conscious effort to take care of yourself. It's about recognizing your needs and taking steps to meet them. It's about nurturing your physical, mental and emotional well-being. This can mean setting boundaries to protect your energy and time. It's about making choices that align with your values and priorities. Self-care is deeply personal. What brings you joy and fulfillment? What makes you feel recharged and ready to face the world again? It could be a walk in nature where you can breathe in fresh air and feel connected to the earth. It could be curling up with a good book, losing yourself in a story and letting your mind wander. It could be spending quality time with loved ones, sharing laughter and creating memories. The key is to identify what fills your cup, what activities or practices make you feel whole and content, what helps you feel grounded and centered in the midst of life's chaos. Once you know what those things are, Make them a non-negotiable part of your routine. Prioritize them as you would any other important task. Self-care is essential for a balanced and fulfilling life. One of the most powerful acts of self-care is learning to say no. It's about setting boundaries. It's about protecting your time and energy. It's about honoring your needs. Saying no can be challenging. We're conditioned to please others. We fear disappointing people. But remember, every time you say yes to something you don't truly want, you're saying no to yourself. Start small. Decline that extra commitment. Say no to that social event you don't have the energy for. It gets easier with practice. And as you become more comfortable setting boundaries, you'll find that you have more time and energy for the things that truly matter. Section 5. Making time for yourself. I don't have time for self-care. How often have you uttered those words? It's a common refrain, but here's the truth. You have the same 24 hours in a day as everyone else. It's about 
prioritizing. Self-care doesn't have to be time-consuming or elaborate. It can be as simple as taking five minutes to meditate each morning. It could be going for a quick walk during your lunch break. It could be reading a few pages of a book before bed. The key is to be intentional. Schedule it into your day just like you would any other important appointment. Treat it as non-negotiable. You deserve that time. Section 6. The Importance of Physical Health Your physical health is intrinsically linked to your mental and emotional well-being. When you feel good physically, you feel better in all areas of your life. Make time for movement. Find an activity you enjoy, whether it's dancing, swimming, hiking or simply taking a brisk walk. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Nourish your body with whole, unprocessed foods. Listen to your body's hunger cues. Stay hydrated. Get enough sleep. These simple acts of self-care can have a profound impact on your overall well-being. Section 7. Nurturing your mental well-being. Just as you care for your physical health, it's crucial to prioritize your mental well-being. This means finding healthy ways to manage stress. It means learning to quiet your mind. It means cultivating inner peace. Meditation, deep breathing exercises and journaling are all powerful tools for managing stress and anxiety. Find what works for you and make it a regular part of your routine. Don't be afraid to seek professional help if you need it. Therapists and counsellors can provide invaluable support and guidance. There's no shame in asking for help. Section 8. The value of social connections. Humans are social creatures. We thrive on connection. Strong social connections are essential for our mental and emotional well-being. Make time for the people who matter most. Connect with loved ones. Engage in meaningful conversations. Cultivate relationships that lift you up. Surround yourself with people who support you, encourage you, and make you feel good about yourself. Remember, you deserve to be surrounded by love and positivity. Section 9. Self-care is not selfish. There's a common misconception that self-care is selfish, that it's indulgent or self-centered. But the truth is, self-care is essential for being the best version of yourself. When you prioritize your well-being, you have more to give to others. You're more patient, more compassionate and more present. You're better equipped to handle life's challenges. Self-care is not about neglecting your responsibilities, it's about filling your own cup so you can pour from it generously. Section 10. Prioritizing yourself for a fuller life. Life is a journey, a beautiful and complex journey that we all embark on. It's filled with ups and downs, twists and turns, moments of joy and times of challenge. There will be times when you're tempted to put yourself last, to let the weight of responsibilities and expectations overshadow your own needs, to prioritize everyone else's needs above your own, thinking that by doing so, you are being selfless and kind. But remember, you are worthy of care. You deserve moments of peace, joy and self-reflection. You are worthy of love, not just from others, but from yourself. Self-love is the foundation of a fulfilling life. You are worthy of prioritizing your own well-being. Taking time for yourself is not selfish, it's essential. Self-care is not a luxury, it's an investment. An investment in your mental, emotional and physical health. It's an investment in your health, your happiness and your overall well-being. When you take care of yourself, you are better equipped to take care of others. When you prioritize yourself, you're not just taking care of yourself, you're setting an example for those around you. You're taking care of everyone around you. Your well-being radiates outwards, positively impacting your relationships and your environment. So, take good care of yourself. Embrace the small moments of joy, the quiet times of reflection, and the activities that bring you peace. The world will keep spinning. The demands and pressures will always be there. But you have the power to create a life that is fulfilling, joyful, and authentically yours. By prioritizing yourself, you are choosing to live a life that is rich in meaning and full of love.